Hello and welcome to this edition of ITV. I'm your host, Brad Swanson. We are coming to you from inside the Florida Capitol during the 2022 Florida Legislative Session. We are joined by our friend, Representative Geraldine Thompson. Thanks for coming on. Glad to be here. All right, so you're here, you did game day, you're back on the show. What are you working on this session? I'm working on getting scholarships for the descendants of the Groveland Four. Mm -hmm. I filed legislation in 2014 to clear the names of those men. Wow. And that finally happened November of 21. Mm -hmm. And so to compensate or to try in some small measure to make the descendants whole, I am uh, advancing a bill to establish scholarships as we did for Rosewood and Oak Hoy. Sure. Such, such a tragic part of Florida's history and it's a way to, you know, really address the, or right the wrongs, if you will, in some way. Yes, absolutely. Uh, reparations can take various forms. Mm -hmm. We're not giving away money. We're mm -hmm. saying that 50 individuals from Groveland, the descendants, would get scholarships up to $6,100 a year uh, to cover tuition, room, board, et cetera. You're always working on such great causes. Okay, so we talked a little bit off camera. You're working on something to do with black history in schools. What are you doing there? I am, um, putting forward a bill that would require any school that gets state's funding, mm -hmm. uh, whether we're talking about charters or vouchers or religious schools, right. uh, to teach African American history and the history of the Holocaust. There's been so much commotion about critical race theory, mm -hmm. and this uh, is not what we're doing with African American history. A theory takes a position and tries to indoctrinate African-American history presents facts. I love and it. it pre presents um, occurrences and then allows individuals to draw their own conclusions. Well, I love, I love the fact that you're combining it with another piece of history that's, that's been appropriated for political stances. So having yeah. those two histories together, what a great thing to make sure is enshrined in Florida curriculum. Well, uh, I think our students deserve the opportunity, but they, we live in a very diverse state. They deserve the opportunity to learn about people outside of their own group. And that way, uh, there's greater appreciation, greater information, uh, and greater cooperation yeah. between individuals. Well, Representative Thompson, you're always working on such great bills. We really are, are, are thinking good thoughts and sending you good vibes to get these bills across the finish line. How much more do you have to do on these two bills? Well, I have to get them on the agenda, first of all, in committee to uh, have them heard, because obviously if they don't get out of committee, they don't get to the floor. Right. Well, we know nobody works harder for the constituents in your district than you, and nobody works harder for all the constituents across Florida. You're a great leader, and thank you for coming on Fight thank TV. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's all the time we have for this episode of Fight TV. For more great interviews like this one, make sure you hit us up on our social media feed. And for now, thanks for tuning in.